I'm Florence Banner Day 3060, staying safe in quarantine. <laughs> Guys, we're going to be filming the Creda Debonair 37304 Compact Reverse Air Tumble Dryer. And we're doing a load of coloreds that I just got done in the uh, Hot Point 9530. As you can see here, it's some shorts, or well, denim shorts, and then some just shirts and uh, a couple of light, light summer shirts. Uh, we did it on program two. 60 resells this colour false cotton using Purcell Bio Care and uh, Color Care and uh, Vanish Oxy Action in there too, um, as well as the new comfort that we used in the previous video of the Mila. Uh, this might actually be one of the last drying cycles you see this machine do because I have had two people interested in my Facebook Marketplace listing for this, uh, so I just can get back to them and see what the, what they're going to do. Uh, so yeah. We are then probably going to get a, a white knight in place, but I'm still looking for a washer dryer before any of that. So yeah, um, I'm going to get loading the machine and then we'll see what we can do. Load her up. She's doing some. She was doing the bedding today that we uh, washed in the uh, Mila. This stuff smells absolutely amazing when it's on in the dryer. So uh, that's an average like half load there really in a way. I'm gonna set the timer to what should we do for this one? I normally do about 40 minutes. Spin through the spin dryers too. So I'm probably gonna do 45 minutes. And then I'm also gonna get the oh, there's they've got little bits to put in the door. Little USB cable. <laughs> I hope it'll all stay in. That's good. And switch to high heat. Without further ado, I'm going to switch off the main light. A bit better, there we go. I'll just stand it to keep everything in. See? I think we should be fine. We'll, however, just put the basket underneath. I guess it does fall. There you go. And a load of colours. I expect most of that to stay in there, to be honest. Let me dry now. Doesn't take much for the heat to, as I said, the heat to get going on this. I did have, did have a plastic uh, dish I could have put over this, but it, it was literally slightly too small to fit. Uh, but it's a shame it's from a, it was from a Chicago Town pizza as well. I washed it and then I was like, hang on, I could maybe use that for something. Well, I think it's going to stay in though. I can't see. It wants to stay in. Perhaps when it goes anti clockwise, it might be a bit better. Some of us suspect going in, in other directions. We are trying to get a white knight. A 2002 model that I can use to, um, or an older one like the CL, the 1990s style ones, like the CL, like the one the Odd Job Center's got, but also a reversing version of that. The only trouble with the white knight is I can't sit in here because the uh, exhaust vent sticks out too much from the back. So that has to go outside and then just come in for when it rains. There we go. Other way now. Let's see what happens. Does it, does it stay in better? Obviously, it doesn't help with the dryer, so it all blows it forward. I'll show you what I would have used. Look at this. I would have used this, but I'll take this off. I'll show you it. Look. It is literally just that little bit too big to fit in. Otherwise, it would have made a perfect. So maybe you could hold that in place while it's going. I'll see. I've got a 
bend that. I've got some of these USB cables, see? Maybe do that. It's got holes in it so it allows the air to come out. And that's ideally what I was going to do is have something like that. The amount of heat this produces though, it does dry very quickly. That's one thing I, I have put up in my listing that it's a very powerful dryer. And said so you guys this dish was washed and rinsed out many times, so you know, I'm not putting like I'm not putting uh, margarita pizza or, or pepperoni or oil onto my clothes. It's a shame I couldn't replace the actual door with this. God, I can't tell you the amount of heat that is belting out right now. My hand's hot. Oh, that's very hot. Uh, do five, about five, ten minutes. This stuff will only need about five minutes of high heat, not ten minutes, it's not that heavy. Just very relaxing to wash a dryer, I think. You can see one of the reasons I like washer dryers so much, they're very relaxing to watch. Scratch my nose, because the heat's blowing. Maybe the other way. Like I said to you, Creda always stated that they did 70 seconds in each direction, but this definitely does longer than a minute and 10 seconds. You can see that we've dried the clothes a lot more because they're starting to spread out around the drum a lot more now. On, so I'm going to dis I'm going to disengage the high heat now. And that's just now running on the single element, low heat. But actually, the low heat on this is pretty damn powerful. Be cool if they had a window like this, to be honest. I'm not closing the top part, I just need all the air to be able to come out somewhere. I can like shut that in behind the door and just sort of keep it wedged in there. See, it just about fits, but you've got to obviously push quite a bit for it to fit. If I was to do that, it wouldn't stay in. So that's the problem with it. All right, so we've got five minutes left of the heated section. So I just flicked the high heat on for the very last bit, for the last five minutes. And that makes make sure that the load is completely dry then before we go into the cool down phase. Um, at, the end, at the end of this video, I'll also discuss some ideas for uh, videos that I've got uh, just over the lockdown period. Okay, reversing, reverso, reverso-matic, as the hot points are called. Uh, it's definitely a lot smoother and quieter than the Creda 275 that I used to have. Unfortunately, you can never see inside that one, um, even the door open, unless you bridge the motor because it had a, a lever that connected to the motor when you lifted the door. 
something like that is belting out some proper heat there, but you can tell that everything's more dry now. So see, I thought I'd, I would get this lot, this doing a load of towels at some point. God, it feels like I've put my hand in. It feels like I've put my hand over the gas cooker or something, it's that hot. Behind me. But it does do a grand job. Obviously what helped though is that I put all this stuff in the spin dryer. The only thing I fault the dryer for, as I told you, is just the fact it has no viewing window and a front venting. But apart from that, the performance on it is brilliant. I think it dries better than our white knight did. Only the fact is, of course, that it's a compact, so you can't really do too much of a load. This was a good sized load. Let's say washer dryers actually get hotter than this. They get to about 100, 110 degrees. I'm gonna go out of the way now. Once that clicks, that'll be onto the uh, cool down. I'll nudge that on, actually, because it's I can feel like that stuff is already dry now. Right, so we're on the cool down now. Because I've also got the door open, the heat drops down a lot quicker. This just brings, as I said before, um, I was saying before what the coolant does, it just brings the load down to uh, a safe to touch temperature and also helps cool the machine down too. In my case, it also cools the room down. Yeah, I can feel that cooling down now. Let's bring that down slightly. What it does, it just shuts the power off to the elements and just keeps the blower fan going so it just basically blows cool air. So Creda's motive for all their, a lot of their appliances was that most things ended in the word air. So you had debonair as their range then the specifications um, were all like so. Debonair was the range name for the eight, the mid to late 80s models, and then they basically the uh, different mod models within the range were all given different names uh, according to the specification. So, reverse air, uh, some people pronounce it as reverse air, but it's actually reverse air. I have heard it in an advert, it means it's a reversing. Debonair dryer. They also have done, uh, they did reverse air and then there's also sense air. Sense air means it was a sensing dryer which had a, it had a sensing device to tell you, you know, so it knew how um, how dry the clothes were. Basically what White Knight used on their sensor dryers. Uh, so you had that as well. Uh, the Debonair only uh, continued for the slanted Fraser 17000 series. They never uh, made the Debonairs within the super speed models, uh, but it actually started with the round door creeders, um, such as the 10700 that James Rankin has got. They did the 11800 as the Debonair Super Electronic. So I can already feel that. that's pretty cool now, that is. So just let it keep going for a little while more. There's just my buttons on there. 
Yeah, see, there was the full size dryer which pops up a lot. You had the Reverse Air Deluxe, Debonair Reverse Air Deluxe, and then there was the Debonair Sense Air they did. They, I think they did do a Sense Air Compact, but I'm not too sure about that. But Reverse Air meant it was a reversing dryer. So this, the Debonair version of this is just Debonair Compact. I know for sure that, oh, not to also mention, they did do Concorde models as well. And it was actually spelt like the aircraft. Um, those were Comet exclusive models. Right, that's at a good temperature. So what I do now is I just let it tumble it and watch this. I let it drop it into the basket. Switch the main light on. Oh, it took itself out. I think it drops into the basket for you. Yep. Like those dryers in Japan, isn't it? In China, I think they do in the laundries there. They tilt forward, the washing machines do. There we go. Dryer clothes, a la Corrida. And I'll just take this up, we'll turn that off. Ah, right, catch her at my computer desk. Oh, well, actually, we'll just empty this quickly. I did do a brief moment with the dryer door closed, um, but for a cotton's load like that, you don't really pick up much. You simply just do that, wipe around, and then do like that. I can do it off camera, so we're not near the clean clothes. All right. There you go. That's about as much as we picked up from that. I do pop it back as you see pops in there there you go all done okay guys here we go got my clean dry laundry we did two loads today we did this and a blanket that's drying on the banisters uh, outside all right so we're at my desk which means we're going to be talking <laughs> i got my can of coca-cola a bit naughty actually that's my second one i've had i should only have had one I uh, could put my hat on, but I'm not going to. Yes, my hair is an absolute mess. Um, my hair feels like I've got enough layers in there to create a crumple zone or an airbag for a BMW sports car. That's how much layers I think I've got in my head. Or probably for fall out of bed, my head will probably be protected by the amount that I've got there. Oh, I can't wait till I can get a uh, cut, wash and blow dry again. I mean, lucky in America, uh, they still got things open there, but we all think that they've opened it too soon. Anyway, so what we're going to be discussing now is just a quick thing of, of what the future, not future videos, but like just what's going to be coming out over the lockdown period. Um, so for one, what happened till tomorrow, we're going to have rain all day and all night tonight. So that's why I didn't take the dryer out on the balcony. I was going to, but I saw the clouds looking a bit stormy. So what I'm going to do, guys, is... The same usual videos are going to be kept where we're doing the Miele W562 and the Hotpoint 9530. But the thing is, I don't want to be going too much back and forth between the machines. Considering the Miele doesn't really have anything to film now. The only thing I have got is I brought a box of Daz that I want to use. And because it's the new whites and colour formula, I want to give it a go and see what it's like. Because I've tried Daz and my last time I did that was like 2016. So, yeah, probably the last time I tried that, so want to maybe give that a go and see what happens. Uh, then, uh, aside from that, there's Mickey Mouse there, uh, but aside from that, the meal has not really got anything else, uh, especially because I won't really be going out anywhere now. Uh, I mean, I am introducing a lot more liquid detergent on my channel and pods. Uh, I might give some gel a try, I'll see. It depends on the price, because some of the gels I've seen have been really expensive, and I'm not always for buying store brands. I do like to stick with some of the brands I do know. But yeah, it's good that I am trying this sort of stuff. Uh, we will see. It tends to actually work a lot better than powder. Like, I mean, obviously, cleaning-wise, the powder's always been the best, and even the way for looking after the machines, it has bleach in it, and it also does better for garment care. Because I use a lot of colour powders, and I use white powders, like, or scent. The thing is, powders for sensitive skin work better on me than the liquids do, because uh, they rinse out better as well. That's why I use the Tesco ones and the Asda one, because they're for sensitive skin. Uh, you guys used to remember when I... Did you guys remember when I used to be crazy about uh, Tesco Loves Baby detergent? Well, they discontinued that last year, shortly before we came back from Australia. So, fortunately, that's out of the way. 
it was probably the best smelling detergent I've ever used and it had the conditioner with it as well and it used to work so well for towels and whatnot. But anyway, that's that. So what we're going to be doing is every week until this lockdown ends, we don't know when, we're supposed to be having a briefing in another two weeks, I think because we've already done the first week pretty much because we've been extended for three weeks. So they're going to tell us, what, I think May the 7th is when it's going to be reviewed and they're going to see if we need to keep going at it. But God forbid we're not. But even if it does get relaxed, I'm not necessarily just going to go jumping on trains again. I am going to probably wait like another month before I start doing stuff like that because I do want to make sure that it is completely safe for me to start going on the underground and, you know, we'll be back because we when, when I do get on the trains again, I'm going to be going all over the place. Um, going to be trying to get on the Intercity 125. I might try and go see Spencer if I can. But anyway, um, so what I'm doing, one weekly video for the lockdown is I'm going to basically make a video where you guys can check in with me. I don't do lives on, on Facebook or not Facebook, sorry, YouTube. Um, I don't really do much on Instagram anymore because I'm tend to be a lot busier during the day talking to everyone else. We don't really have a reason to go live on Instagram anymore like I used to do uh, for most of our memories. So what we're going to do is just a weekly video where you guys can check in with me in the comments. And it'll just be a, a weekly video about how my situation is with lockdown. I think it's something that all washer guys should do. For those who do want to sort of show their face and whatnot, make a video where you can tell us about how you're coping. Because, you know, we're all in this together. No one is suffering more than the other. That's what I say. Especially for people like me and others with, with autism. It's, it's, it's a big strain it is to be putting up with this. And I do my best, though, to keep keep going, keep myself sane. You know, there's times when I do feel like I'm losing my mind over it. So make one video where I just tell you about what I've done in my week, uh, how the situation improved, what I'm hoping for, and then I'll just be asking you guys how you think, and you can all comment and let me know how you're doing. Let me know on any news, you know, if you're getting any new machines or whatnot, or stuff like that. Um, but then what I'm also going to do during the week is do a video where... I talk about the history of all the washing machines I've had. So like all the ones I've owned, my grandparents, uncle and aunties, and it'll be a picture. So like we'll have a picture of the machine, I'll discuss with you what machine it was. And I'll even tell you the stories I've like and experiences I had with that machine. So for example, I could tell you about the first ever hot point nine five I came across, the one that actually triggered me to have this like thing about not going near them when they spin and whatnot. Because yes, there was one machine I did have when I was little that did actually frighten the living daylights out of me. And it was actually the one that still to this day makes me a bit timid about going near them. Um, and then maybe then I've, so I've got like a whole box full of washing machine brochures and whatnot. We could have a look at that and I could just be doing a video of you taking you through them. I can maybe do part one every week. I'll release another one where we maybe look at maybe I'll count how many brochures we got and see if I can divide that by three. And then we look at that many brochures per week. Um, just something little, you know, just so we don't use up everything on the machines. Because the 9530, we're staying in here till probably around June. Uh, just just to catch up with all the lost time I've had with that machine. Considering the fact that I'm waiting for a motor, uh, we're going to be getting an actual motor for the A3060. Even though I have got the armature. But we just need a new tachometer. Because uh, that is fine. The washer dryer, I've got some good news about. It's actually going to Chris. Chris, the laundry centre, he wants the machine. He asked me about it the other night. Creed Dryer, uh, as I told you there, I don't know if the seller's actually coming around to look at it or what, but once that goes, I will be looking at getting a white night, which I'm going to keep out on the balcony, and then every time it rains, if I know it's going to rain, I'm going to bring, bring it in. Um, when I'm at work, I'll keep it in my room. I'll take it out in the evening, then bring it back in if I don't know what the weather's going to be like. So it's not, you know, but I'll keep it on like some raised bits of wood. So when I water the plants outside, all the water can just go underneath it and it won't go anywhere near the dryer. Or I'll just keep it on a tall box so it's off the way. But at least with that, we can see into the dryer. I don't have to be doing what I'm doing with that one where I'm, uh, you know, tripping the door switch. Because even though it's fine, it's a lot more hassle for me to stand there and hold a dish against it. Like I was doing there. Or even just to be sort of breathing in all that dust because I'm allergic to dust. So it's not really good, but I normally have my door open and my window open. Um, and it just lets everything out. Or I have my Dyson fan going, which is what's behind me here. Uh, and it just blows all the air and all the dust goes out of the window. Um, 
Has anyone been seeing the satellites that have been going over recently? We were out the other day and I just saw about two or three of them go over. Didn't really see much. But there's a really bright star towards the west uh, that we're looking at. Well, we actually think it was one of the planets. I can't remember who. Um, it wasn't Neptune. I can't remember what planet it was. There was a planet that was actually passing near the moon. I think it was that. Uh, but there's been a huge decrease in flights here. I hardly hear any aircraft going over. There's like a couple of 777s that go over and they're all either going to New York or, or no, New York go out that way. But some of them they're going to like say Japan and there's one that I think that goes from to Doha. But yeah, you don't really hear anything other than that. So yeah, that's just what I want to do guys. Keep up with that. I am still washer dry hunting, uh, but I think I've changed the model that I want. Um, I'll just be looking to see uh, the 954 is kept outside, which means if I do get a washer dryer, the Creed has got to be kept outside as well, because I'm not going to have any room to store any of the other machines. So, because we moved the 95300W from out in the passageway, because obviously it was taking up room. It's naughty me drinking that. I'm only, I try to limit myself to one. Oh, that was it. Another video I'm going to do. One day I'm going to do, um, maybe tomorrow I might do it or so or another day when it's not raining. I'm gonna do a video where I show you a day in the life in lockdown with Florence Ballard A3060. I'm gonna do a video where from morning to morning till night, I show you what I basically do in a day. So be from getting up, the first thing I do in the morning. Uh, it's just something, you know, to show you guys what my situation's like. Um, and I think there's something that maybe a lot of you guys could do if you're willing to do that. You could show what you do on, on your lockdown and we can all see what we do you know share 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 with us what you know what your situation is you could even talk about how it's changed your life you know what would you have normally done at this time that's what i'm going to do I might just make it a bit more interesting make something out of it because this is history guys this is like world war ii again it's like, not i mean i don't mean obviously in the same sense but i mean it's something that, you know, we'll always remember. You'll be able to tell your kids, your grandchildren, you'll be able to tell them in the future, you know, this is what happened. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there uh, so we don't go on. I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. If if I know that it's the last, if I know when those guys are coming, I might do one last video of that drawing some towels and then that'll be it, the last thing we do. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow and... Stay safe.